The Blues and their fans are buzzing right now. How about that? A quick strike just minutes into this one. Well, that quick strike gets them on their feet. And listen, when you're playing, you can feel that energy. You feed off it when your home crowd is cheering for you, especially when you're playing well. No better way than getting on the board first. And a great save. Toffoli's loving the puck. have the shot advantage, and they also have the lead on the scoreboard. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. San Jose's got it along the wall. Quick feed to Couture. The Blues have it against the wall. Couture's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles, so he's off balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. Handles the pass. Couture's got it in the offensive zone. in the period as we approach the midway mark. St. Louis leads it 2-0. The Blues win the draw on their own end. Great cross-ice pass. And he dodges the poke check there. The Blues play the puck from the back of the net. Now a quick pass to Porter. One-timer! And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Unable to reach that one. The Sharks gain possession. Poked away at center by Letty. They've got numbers here. Whiffs on that. Here's a short pass to Neighbors. Keeps possession. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. The Sharks have it now. And it's a quick pass to Coonan. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. And he throws it wide of the net. Oh, this is a tough game, and you got to fight for your scoring chances, James. And this just seems like a waste when he misses wide. And he slides it quickly to Bushnevich. That's blocked by Vanacek. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. The Blues continue to lead midway through the first. They have really put on an offensive clinic so far. St. Louis takes possession after that offensive zone faceoff. And that's blocked away. Oh, what a little stick lift on the play and comes up with the puck. Cutting to the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. 
I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save, no rebound to boot. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. The Blues come up with the defensive zone draw. Beatington's going to elect to just hang on for a whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, and I like that he landed on this when he's physically engaging, keeping himself in it. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. St. Louis is enjoying a 2-0 lead. Puck grab by Krug. St. Louis has it in the defensive end. The Sharks pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. To his teammate! Stopped by the goaltender. Thomas has it at center ice. Sends a pass in front, and that's stopped. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Well past the midway mark of this period, and it's a 2-0 hockey game. The Sharks win the defensive zone faceoff. And he takes the pass. Dumps it in. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Krug's got it in the defensive end. Dumps it into the O-zone. Moves it quickly over to Ruda. Great pressure to force the turnover by Holloway. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. The Blues will play the puck from the back of the net. Slides it up to Holloway. Great heads up play with the stick by Wallman. Into the middle of the neutral zone. And that's a smart heads up play by Joseph. St. Louis has the puck. Carries it across the line. Slides it across. Got into the offensive end. The Sharks carry it along the wall. Here's a feed in front. He scores! What a goal! Well, great placement, but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. The Sharks have jumped right back into this one here in the first. Well, they certainly have, and they found their momentum late in the period here, James, as they counter and they get themselves back in the game within one. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Here comes the call. The Sharks will serve two for slashing. opportunity on the power play in this game and specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for can't connect good use of the body on that play moves into the slot and the goaltender comes up on a piece of it to keep it out of the net what a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area james and i mean he's bailing his team out they have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice Scooped up along the wall by Thomas. San Jose's in now. Great reach with the poke check by Pareko. Oh, what a save with the glove! We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Couture is ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Blues win the draw here in their own end. Shen's taking it from his own end. Great pass from off the right side. Puck scooped up by Shen. Scores! There it is! A power play goal! This is just a great shot, James. The delivery so quick of a release that beats the goaltender clean.
telling us before the game they wanted to put a lot of pucks on that. They have delivered on that, and they lead it late in the first. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. San Jose is on the attack. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Quick pass to Sundqvist. The Blues take it from the side. Works it across to Broberg. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Gains control the puck here at the line. Shoots it, they score! have certainly come with a message tonight and that is attack the net they have had plenty of scoring opportunities and lead here big time nearing the end of period number one takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck rocks him the Sharks scoop it up along the boards takes a shot and that's denied by Bennington can't make the play and the puck leaves the zone taken along the wall by CeCe and now he moves it quickly to Ackland. Back to the blue line. And that shot dies in traffic. The Blues take it across the line. And that's poked away by Walman. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. St. Louis has been relentless with their offensive chances tonight, and they lead it late in this first period. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. That's kicked away with the pad by Benichek. Well, that brings an end to period number one. Still lots more action to go. Both teams will recharge and be back with more on ice action in the second in no time. For the first 20 minutes. St. Louis is firing from all areas of the ice, and their opponent just doesn't know what to do. They're back on their heels. They're being forced into vulnerable spots, and they're just completely overwhelmed. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Puck picked up by Ruda. Gaining momentum up along the side. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Sends it into the offensive zone. San Jose's got it in their own zone. And he delivers the boom there. And that pass is redirected. And now it's grabbed by Thomas. Sods back on the ice, exactly where the coach wants him. He's been the go-to guy in this game, multiple points so far. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. Trying to get Juke Q with it and loses possession. Toffoli's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off his stick, and he lost possession. Walman stick handling in his own zone. Steps inside the line. And that pass attempt is deflected. And that goes off, pours off a body. Moves it to Shen. Now over to Joseph. The Blues take it along the wall. From the slot, this shot. Fantastic save! Vanacek's got to make more stops like that, James. He's got to reset the momentum for his team. I mean, it's not about what happened or the present moment. Oh, it's save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Oh, one of his teammates is right in the shooting lane there. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. The Sharks played along the wall. Stones him in front. Play is called for us. 
side. The Blues lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. Sunfist won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. The Sharks gain control of the puck. Shot with the stop. Quick feed to Kuna. Slides the puck over. And that can... Oh, the save of the play! Whoa! He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Here we go. Look at this. New Kuna behind the squeeze down on the offensive end. A pass to Benny. Another feed. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Rocked him in the open ice. Shot! Simple stop by Bennington. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. And now it's over to Thomas. There's a shot! He stopped it! <laughs> he stopped it! Oh, Whistle blows, stopping the play. And Coach is looking for an explanation here from the official. Yeah, I mean, he's getting the refs here because he wants to know why his team is being penalized more often. It's clearly having a factor in the game. that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. You're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Here's a short pass to Shen. There's another stop! What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. The Blues win it. The Sharks have possession shorthanded. The Blues gain possession in their own end. Up along the wing. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. And loses possession after a solid hit. Puck dumped in. St. Louis has possession of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Saad. St. Louis plays it against the boards. Routine pass saved made by Vanacek. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. The Sharks take possession off the faceoff. Slides the puck across to Kunin. Sent into the offensive zone. St. Louis has it near the wall. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Shuts them down. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes a save. And a great save. Sends a pass over. How did he stop that one? The shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and he has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Couture's back on the ice as he should be. He's the captain and leader of this team. They're getting blown out right now, James. But what better way to create some charge here by your captain settling everyone down? Scores! Off the pipe and falls in the twine! Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. Well, this is a play it looks like they worked on practice. You get the win, and then the quick-release shot buries it home. San Jose.
USA suddenly made a lot of people sit up here in these stands as they've made it a two-goal game now. Well, it's a game now, and everyone's standing because they know they're back in it. Just a two-goal deficit. One more, and they're within striking distance. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Here's a chance. Big-time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Looks to make a play over to Sutherland. The Sharks take it across the blue line. St. Louis looks to get things going now with the puck. Great little poke shot by the goaltender there. Beatington's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Here in the later stages of this period, San Jose is still down by two goals in this one. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Shen. Hard hit, frees up the puck. He says, let's get physical on that play. Inside the offensive zone. Feeds the puck up to Saad. And there's the whistle icing the call. The Blues came into this one with one thought on mind. Lots of pucks to the net, and they continue to lead here late in the second. The Sharks win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Center bears down on that bottom hand. A clean win, and you can see them all setting up, looking to attack the net against this tired boot. Picked up along the boards by Joseph. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. San Jose is looking to break out of their own end. Strong defensive effort. Pinned up along the boards. Vlasic's got the puck in his own zone. Takes the feed. Shot! All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one, and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack, because the third period is just around the corner. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Blues are leading in the third period in this high-flying affair, but the question is for how long, James? This has been an action-packed, back-and-forth offensive nightmare for the goaltenders. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. Forces the turnover. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. And that pass goes off a stick. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. Kairou's got it against the boards. And makes the save. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. The Blues lead it here early in the third period. They have been dominant in the offensive area. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Textbook hook check by Joseph. San Jose, he's got a hold of it along the wall. And a battle for that loose puck along the boards. Enough, but he's still got the puck. Back to the point it goes. Oh, so close on the play. Real difficult to get to the middle of the ice. Often you pay the price, and he's got a golden opportunity from the slot area and just misses. Too many bodies in the way. Quick pass across to Joseph. The Blues will play from the defensive zone. Here's a chance on the attack. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Wallman. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Blues have some breathing room as they lead by a pair. It's 4-2. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? 
Nowhere for that shot to go through. Unable to reach that one. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. The Blues continue to lead here in the third, listening to their coach's message. Lots of pucks on net. San Jose, he's got a hold of the puck. Picked up along the wall by Ruda. San Jose's across the blue line. Feed to the middle. Can't connect the play. And he takes the feed. Handles the puck. San Jose's got control of it now from their own end. Tries to get it to Winberg. Gaining steam here on the attack. Big play inside the defensive zone. Drop here any moment to get things underway again. Thomas wins the draw on their own end. Biddington's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. The Blues win the draw. Here they come. Wax it into the offensive zone. San Jose's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, a huge hit against the wall, and you know they felt that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically, pay the price, use your body, and get the puck. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. The Blues lead it 4-2. San Jose's won the draw. Passes it over. And the puck departs the zone. All alone. Oh, and that just looked like indecisiveness there, Cheryl. Yeah, and a lack of confidence as well, James. When you're in all alone, you have to know exactly what you want to do, and you have to play with it. Here he is. Let's get the call. Kyra is going off for hooking. The Sharks will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. And they get that puck down the ice. And he takes the feed. Jostles the puck loose. Quick pass to Sutherland. On the deflection. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Here's a shot. Stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four on four on the ice. Well, four on four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two on one. Oh, big save. Passes it over to Couture. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Pareko's moving the puck through his own zone. St. Louis now goes to work on the power play after their time in the sin bin expired. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. The Sharks gain the zone. Fires it on net. Oh, whoa, what an incredible save! I don't even know how he got to that. That's fierce athleticism to be able to get back to the net and make that save, James. That was amazing! Oh, we're gonna have to check that one out again. It was just spectacular, James. When you're out competing your opponent, you're dialed in. You're so athletic to make those kind of saves. 
saves. Winbert's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. He's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Oh, what a chance here! And they're on the attack! What a score! Another power play goal! The power play's been incredible tonight, James. Multiple goals. It's because they've kept the PK unit guessing. When you don't know what your opponent's going to do, you don't know where to be. Although this is an unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James, it's one who will want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front. Goaltender can't find him. Guess what? It's From start to finish, the coach is going to love this one. It's been a terrific performance. A 200-foot game that's led to the score. And that goes wide! The Sharks gain possession. Grabs the puck behind the net. And he coughs it up with the pass. Pushes it off. Stopped by the goaltender. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible. And that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. And there's the save on the play. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. St. Louis probably doesn't want this game to end tonight based on how things have gone offensively as they continue to lead in period number three. Here's the puck. And that goes off the player in front. Makes the save. Neighbors has it in the defensive end. Poked away by Ruda. Angles it over to Ferraro. across the blue line. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Passes it to Torpchenko. St. Louis on the attack. Sends it out in front. Moves it again. Another pass. Shot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Jocelyn to the puck and he loses control. Poked away at center by Koonin. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Now a quick pass to Sederlund. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. The Blues look to start the transition game. Tries to get the puck over to Kairou. Folks carrying it ahead. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Benning. Taken by Sederlund. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. Moves it to Kairou. Thomas explores his options behind the net. Turned away on the wraparound. Oh, what a great reactionary stop there. Reactionary is right, James. He knew exactly where the shooter was going and a strong push across to be able to make that save. St. Louis is all smiles on the bench tonight where almost everything they put on the net seems to go in. And they lead big time here in this third. The Blues ready to go on the attack. Kyrou's going to play it against the half wall. Scores! Well, that's number two, Bender. Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. you got to believe he's going to be looking for the half. James, this is just an absolute clinic in body position. How to roll off your coverage. And it's perfectly executed as he doesn't have much time to get the one-timer off. But he gets his stick available and he executes. trailing but it's about the way they've done it there's no effort lackluster performance and no attention to detail the blues are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here Cheryl. well you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench i mean look at the way they're moving and holding the puck attacking the net at the right times it has been a seamless effort st louis gets a hold of the puck against the boards and now it's grabbed by cc 
Carries the puck through the neutral zone.